all right so what is going on today youtube oh man this is upsetting man i had so many replays for you guys i was going to throw out a little uh um, replay video of um vendred turbo which a deck that i've really taken a liking to since saturday when we had the vendred finale if you haven't watched that definitely go check that out but yeah um uh i had a whole bunch of replays but um you pro i already know it's card of demise it's not fair it's not fair to play against these decks um it's just so unfair you just can't really beat can't really beat too many good cards like this but anyways yeah man i have so many replays so many stuff so much stuff ready I'm gonna give you guys a little replay video but sadly you get pro updated their cards and um yeah so everything else is pretty much corrupt so <laughs> i'm not able to uh, I'm not able to, um, why what? Why did we do that? Okay, can't complain. Um, all right, so this is going to be very easy for me to get over. It's just about whatever this back row is. Hopefully it isn't what I think it is. That's, that's, that's another thing I didn't want it to be either, but fuck, man. This is ridiculous. <sighs> the one draw he draws the damn anti spell. <laughs> That's fucking delicious. All right. Anyways, well, we we have a uh, we have a very hard way of getting over this, but um, he's able to get rid of three of my cards, and that's if he doesn't draw another card. Um, which is, it is very easy for him to do. Um, I don't know why this is taking so long, but yeah, man, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro pretty much updated all the what's the names. Uh, I'm gonna get Executor here. No, I shouldn't. I think I should get Executor. I really want to get Slayer, but there's multiple things to get with Slayer. I want to get Executor because... I want to just use the trade in, but I feel like it's not going to be viable. Um, this is hard, actually. No, no, yeah. Let's get executed. It's not. It's not really a tough, tough thing to do. Um, I guess this is the card we would like for him to kill. Put that right there. Um, we'll just put that over there. Then we put one over here. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the end of our turn here. So he's going to easily pop one thing at least. Um, I suppose he's going to pop. There's no reason not to pop. Actually, he can get rid of all my back row. Because he can pop right now. He can destroy this to pop again. And then he could use it again on his turn. And then he could, on my draw phase, pop my last remaining card. Which is going to be... This is really going to suck. But I feel... I don't know why he's taking so long, but hey, um, uh, if he takes longer, we're just going to have to leave because it's not because I'm playing against True Draco or anything like that. It's because, come on, man, like you're literally waiting 30 seconds, 40 seconds to make one like one play that you know you're going to make. So, I mean, it's not hard to make. Like, come on, man, like you're just wasting time here. But anyways, yeah, man, you get pro pretty much updated as you can see the the cards all look better like they all look better from when they initially were put on there um so they pretty much redid the uh redid the um the i guess the file so everything else is like aired out and i literally had I had replays from uh when they were first announced i had replays all yesterday i was just playing with this vendor turbo deck this is one i really taken a liking to because i it, it really did my god man these plays i had oh these replays i had oh my god i was I'm so upset. all right you know we're just gonna leave all right folks i didn't step into the wrong thing because now i'm in uh i'm in ocg land and this is not where i wanted to be this is definitely not where i wanted to be so this is going to be a little upsetting real quick um so we're going to grab this evolution because we do have one preparation of rights definitely gotta get the slayer at this point in juncture and then what we can do is activate evolution summoning slayer dumping the slayer oh yeah and i also bumped it up to two strides 
because Strategies is just a fantastic card. There goes my charger for no reason. I'm gonna get this core out. Um, I'm gonna get this. Uh, the, my charger just for some reason just wanted to leave, so it just fell out. My what's the name? So we can't even do anything about that. We might be able to go to Skull Deep with this. Definitely gonna add Origin. Then we're gonna dump Strages. Use Strages. Reveal the Origin. Special Summon. Bam, draw a free card. That's good. Let's activate this individual to add the Battle Lord. And then, yeah, we can add a Ritual Spell back to the hand. And then what I can do I can Vendred Core. I can actually banish these two. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna banish, I'm gonna ritual summon this. Which is the one I summoned? It's at the top of my graveyard, right? So yeah, six and then three. Um, yeah, banish Revenants, right? Yeah, I'm gonna banish Revenants. I'm gonna special summon this. Then we're able to go Skull Deep. Um, yeah, we're able to go slow deep with this. One, two, three, four. Ah, Jesus Christ. Why did I do that? I just noticed, like, I cannot, what's the name? Like, I'm not able to ritual summon again. Unless I draw something good. So here, we're going to add Executor, because that's in case we draw Trade-In. Then we're able to dump, um, we could dump Anima, or we could dump Hound Horde. Hmm. I think Hound Horde is clearly the better choice. Oh, we didn't draw it, but we draw a pre prep. Did we activate pre prep this turn? I don't think we did. So we're definitely going to keep that. We can put you back because once again, we have access to one. And yeah, we can put you back, and then we can put this evolution back. I really hope I pre prep this turn. I mean, I didn't. Oh, there we go. The game is getting played today, folks. Here we go. This is why I love this. This is why I love this version of the deck. It is so fun to play. Uh, let me see here. We already have that bet. Yeah, we already have the combo ready. So what we can do is activate this trade in and draw some extra cards. Oh, there's that. And we've drawn a terraforming, which we don't technically need. All right, so here, act. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, we do need this terraforming. I was about to make a big mistake here, folks, because we need the anima. And I was literally finna sit here and play the whole game without using the anima. So hopefully this shit is coded in right. Because if it's coded in right, we're able to do what we need to do here. So we could dump this Slayer to add the Anima to the hand. Oh man, Vendred Knights is so much better now. Vendred Knights used to be so bad, but it's so much better here. We can dump that. We can use Core to banish. We summon this Battle Lord, right? Yeah, we can... We can, uh, no, I actually want to keep the battle over. Just get rid of the sucker because we don't play Wesson. We don't play Mizuki, so there's no reason to keep the sucker in the graveyard. I don't think there's anything we can really get back. All right, so here, I kind of want to play Traps in this deck. Can't use that. We can use this, though, and we can go into the Executor. Now, this should be game unless this man is playing Kaijus, which I'm pretty sure that he's going to be playing. I don't know why I summoned it right there because now we may have a problem. Let's. I don't want to set this to be honest with you. Yeah, let's just set it and end our turn. I, I was supposed to set, as you clearly heard what I was saying. But all right, so he can't target anything on the board. Up, oh, <laughs> just had the fucking kaiju. God, we did all that just to get kaiju. That's sick. That is so sick. I'm just gonna call one because I'm pretty sure you're playing. Oh wow, that is sad, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, is that really serious? He really just had to kaiju for my whole thing. And you're playing Dark Lords. Like, oh my God. Like, how am I supposed to beat this? That's crazy. That is fucking crazy. Oh, we, we we actually won. But wow, that's that's amazing. All right, folks. So we're going to get one more duel because we didn't have two full duels. Huh? Yeah. One, uh, one duel, the guy was doing some random shit. I gotta understand if you got five cards in hand, you're trying to OTK somebody or you're trying to build a good board. Um, but like when you're sitting there literally with one card to activate, like what like really what's going on here? Like you sit you're wasting time. 
All right, so let's see how they're going to beat me. Today, every time I play World Chalice, or at least when I play my brother, they use this and they get a Lee that's already in their hand. Then, yep, see, they get Guard Dragon. And... Well, all right, so right now I'm about to lose to World Chalice. But he has to have something good to be able to go skull deep, I believe. No, he can go skull deep. No, he needs. He hasn't even normal summoned. This guy is a monster. Yeah, he can go skull deep now. Now he can go skull deep. He can go skull deep. Uh, I just hope I actually plan. You know, I'm losing a world challenge here. When I play my brother, it's it's not it's not fair. I'm talking about Brilliant Fusion, Soul Charge, and a Gamma Seal every game. Doesn't matter if he opens it. Oh, he's playing Troy Mares. That was a bad move. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now because this doesn't even point down. So that means you have to link this off the board. That made no sense. Hey, I'm not I'm not a world player. I'm not a world challenge player, but that really did make no sense to me just now. Because you're forced to link this. Oh, you can go that. That still didn't seem good. That still seems stupid. So unless your extra deck is purely Troymare nightmares, um, then this doesn't make too much sense. I, I I just don't know what he's going with this. I feel like he's gonna quit on me because you can't even use Guard Dragon. You can't. You have to use this in this to go into a uh, Ib or a uh, Troymare Goblin. You can go with that. So that means what? They cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's fine. As long as they just don't go to the one that you can't target them, I'm fine. And see, even with this, you cannot even uh, can't even use a guard dragon because you need this zone opened. This is why I said this is kind of a dumb play. He's gonna quit unless he, he the the way he's playing is like he has soul charge. That must, he's gonna send either this. Okay. Well, you must have soul charge. That's the only thing I can think. Of. And it's still a bad play. Like, um, you have to have Soul Charge. That's the only way this makes sense. If you don't have Soul Charge, this is probably the dumbest play I've ever seen in my entire life. Because it makes it, you wasted all those cards. You know, this is going to have to be the last game. Because I know he's going to quit. I feel like we're just not going to get anywhere, folks. Today is just not the day. Apparently, it's, it's, today is not the day. Because it, it, I don't know what he's doing. Like, even if you're practicing, that didn't make no sense. And it's still, it still, I, I don't even understand it, to be honest with you. Because, like, you had a Skull Deep, you had probably a Draw 3 with, um, yeah, you had a Draw 3 and a Skull Deep. And you just go Griffin that you can't even activate the effect. You must have Soul Charge. What? <laughs> what? What sense does this even make? Oh, okay, you have brilliant fusion. All right, I guess. But once again, like you're not, you're still not getting anywhere. Like none of this makes any sense. Okay, you can go E. Let me guess. You play the world. Okay, you can add Lazuli back. You can add Lazuli. You can use E. So you're gonna search one and add one back. So I'm guessing you're only playing Lee's, or you playing Harold also. Okay, you're playing Harold. That's fine. Still doesn't matter. <laughs> like, if I draw what's the name, you're dead. Like if I draw Revenant, you're going to lose this game. That isn't Revenant, but uh, <laughs> we could definitely do a lot with this. Okay, so with this being said, what's in this graveyard? I can go this and then pop this. Yeah, because he's going to, uh, what's the name? Let's get this Troy Mary Griffin, Cerberus. I mean, what's going on here? Link summoned. Idiot. I am a idiot. But it's okay. We can normal summon this. And we can do whatever we want to do. We're just trying to bait that out, to be honest with you. So that was a bad link. See, I, I'm terrible at this game also. Um, use that effect. We'll discard Slayer. Because he doesn't know technically what Slayer is. Um, so he's going to herald this because he thinks, oh, that's his only play. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that off the board. Oh, it can't die. 
that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right here, folks. So we have already conducted our normal summon. So we're going to use this. We're going to summon Slayer. We're going to tribute the Executor out of our hand. We'll go right there. Then we'll go Vendred Core. Banish this. Special that. And then what can we do here? From here, we can technically go Vampire Sucker to draw a free card. And then we play the Link 3, correct? Yes, we do. We Oh, come on, man. Come on. He knew what it was happening. He knew exactly what was happening. He was going to get wrecked because he plays dumb. Like, don't don't do that. Like, you, you, you did all that to go to a Griffin. Like, he could have literally beat me. He probably could have locked me out of my deck, like my extra deck, but that didn't matter. Um, all we really needed access to was Revenants, and that maybe would have got us where we wanted to get, but man, that was just really bad. All right, so yeah, here's the deck list. Like I said, um, this is pretty much uh, the same deck I played from Saturday. Only thing I did was add the one for one, an extra Vendra charge, and another Strages. So that's why it's 44. Um, I don't know what other cards you take out. I could take out the trade in technically, but like I said, I just wanted to test it, and that's pretty much the reason for this deck. Um, we could take out the trade ins and put it at 42, and then, like, after that, I mean, you just split. I mean, if you take out the two trade ins, you could definitely take out one of these. So it's down to 41, and then it just all depends on what you want to do. You can either cut a Vendred Charge, but I actually really like this card. I just never see it. You can cut Striders if you feel like it, but I always need to. So that's why I play it. Um, I guess you can technically, I don't know, see, like, you can cut one of these because you don't need three, you can't activate two, more than one per turn, but, you know, you just like to kind of see it, so, yeah, those are three cards, you could definitely just, four cards you can take out to make a 40 if you feel, um, but yeah, man, that's the deck for today, and, and just another thing to touch on, this man had e Telly, Brilliant Fusion, a mo technically a Monster Reborn, uh, and what else, he had the level five and a Lee. And you still lost? Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you guys in a couple of more hours. Stay tuned for another Vendred Turbo deck profile showing. I don't know what I was about to go with that. But yeah, man, stay tuned. We're going to be coming back in a couple of hours. And we're going to go back in with this deck. Um, and then, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you feel like donating to the channel, links are in the description down below. And besides that, see you guys in a couple hours.